Everyone dreams of that one tech job, the fang tech, the six or seven digit salary. I did it too. I chased it hard. I spent years coding, switching company, clearing interviews, and yes, I made it too. Today, I'm software engineer three at Google. But here's something that most people won't tell you: the dream tech job comes with its own dark side. I've lived through it: the burnout, the layoff, the toxic team, toxic culture, the never-ending pressure to stay relevant. If you're preparing for your dream tech job, this is something you must hear. If you're new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button for more such videos. So back in college, I was obsessed with getting offers from top tech companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Google, Facebook, and many other startups. I have solved more than 2,000 DSA problems. Yes, it feels unrealistic, but I have done it. Every single day, I used to sit in front of the screen for more than 15 hours because back in 2020, company used to only ask DSA and some CS fundamentals in their interview to the fresher. My screen time by end of the placement was more than 15 hours average and my eyes went dry 30%. Literally, my doctor told me that I had computer vision syndrome. So, I asked these questions. Did I crack interviews? Yes. Did I learn a lot? Absolutely. But at what cost? My health, my sleep, my peace of mind. We glorify the grind, but no one tells you how destructive it can become when you don't know when to stop. You start treating rest like a guilt and that's when the passion quietly turns into addiction. I started my full-time career at Amazon. I joined as an SD1, a dream company for many. Everything felt perfect until it wasn't. After one and a half year, my entire org was laid off. Just like that, no warning, no hints. It was wiped out, but severance and voluntary separation program helped us to buy some time for the interview preparation. But that was the first time I realized something very important, listen it carefully, that no one in college prepares for you. In tech, you are never safe. You can be brilliant, hardworking, genius, but still wake up one day jobless. You never know, it can be tomorrow. And trust me, that fear changes you. You start thinking not about growth, but survival. To be always in preparation mode, to stay relevant to this industry. Just like now, we are trying to keep up with the AI race. After this layoff, I was lucky enough to get some good offer from some startups based in India. Because at that time, back in 2022-23, there was a lot of companies laying off due to COVID. And this company called High Labs, that was the best option I had among all the offers. They promised that they are a product-based company, I'll get the best environment, ownership, great learning. I had a lot of expectation because I left from Amazon with a very great learning and great expectation that I'll continue this kind of learning in my next company. But the reality, it was a service-based company set up with micromanagement, no structure, zero work-life balance. I used to go hit the company office daily, five days a week, and that to check-in, check-out timings like service-based company. I told myself, give it a year, maybe it will get better in some time, but it didn't. It used to be dread Mondays. I started questioning my own skills, what I'm doing here. I'm not getting any good development work. I'm doing DevOps, being a software developer. I'm not getting any, any feature to build from scratch. That is what a SD1 or in your early stage of career you demand or thrive for. When you're surrounded by such kind of toxicity, even your confidence get hijacked. So I left and joined Walmart. Walmart was better, way better. Structured, stable, good projects. But this time, the poison was slower. Internal politics, bad ethics, the silent competition where everyone was pretending to be friends but secretly playing chess for promotions. I gave it one and a half year. Also, alongside, I was building a still startup, it's free time in my weekends. So after all these things, I then I asked myself, is it really what I wanted all along? Big brands, stable pay, but zero fulfillment? So I left Walmart. I decided to build something of my own. I joined myjob.ai. It's a company in a very early stage. You can say in an ideation state, I joined that. I took the role of co-founder CTO, built that product, hustled for six, nine months, and also quit my job after Walmart for three months straight to raise funding and give my full potential, like 100%. But again, this time life was brutal. The startup life is crazy. Things didn't work out. And I had to quit and look again for a job to fulfill my bills, my needs. And now this was the second time I was jobless. First time it was the layoff. Then this was the time I had again a realization, something deeper. In this industry, you are always one day away from restarting everything. 
after all these experiences i can say confidently that i am very happy where i am now working at google it's been one of the best phase of my career incredible culture healthy pace great minds people great benefits but the reason i truly appreciate it it's because of everything i saw before this when you have seen the instability in your life in your career you learn to value balance when you have worked in chaos you learn to respect calm stability the dark side of chasing your dream job isn't when you shouldn't chase it it's that you should understand what you have been chasing so titles packages brands seven digit salary they matter definitely but they are temporary what stays with you is how much you have learned so far and how much peace you have kept it while doing it we live in a world where you always have to be on your toes always learning new frameworks tools technology mentally preparing for the next layoff maybe and always proving your worth to everyone tech is amazing it does changes the world it rewards the hard work but it also uncertain volatile and mentally exhausting and chasing the dream job won't fix that because once you get it you will realize that race never ends it just pushes the finish line further so what are the key takeaways from my journey or so that i can generalize it that don't let your career consume your identity do what you love to do apart from work when we say work life balance it doesn't mean that that we work is your life but within your life a work is a part chase growth not glamour learn but also live the real win is when your ambition doesn't destroy your well be i'm not saying that don't chase your dream job do it definitely do it i did it too you should also do it but chase it with awareness know the trade offs and remember you are not your offer letter not your company tag you are what you have become through this journey if this video made you think hit subscribe not for motivation but for truth at least because in this channel we'll talk about the real side of being a software engineer not just the linkedin highlights or reels bye bye take care